Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Um, I've got a nice nice shot today that uh, to go through the editing of which I took recently uh, whilst on holiday in Ilfracombe in Devon and um, I love this shot um, uh, and uh, I think it's a beautiful black and white shot personally. Uh, interestingly I've literally just received an email as I was setting up to do this video from the um, Landscape Photography Photographer of the Year competition telling me um, for yet another year that none of my images have made it. Uh, so if, if you're watching this, um, you may want to switch off because apparently I'm not particularly good. But uh, if you are still with me, uh, then... Um, this I'm going to go through how I edited this shot. Uh, now, just quickly uh, about the shooting of it, I was just sat, we had a beautiful cottage on the harbour, and I looked out and the light was incredible on these rocks. They're about probably a kilometre away from, from any vantage point that I could get to. So I ran down to the harbour. Uh, because of the distance, a wide-angle lens wasn't going to cut it, so I threw on my 45mm lens and... Um, and rattled off a few shots and as I noticed as I started rattling off the shots uh, I noticed the birds flying around so I literally just stood and just kept shooting every time the birds you know came into view and was you know flew in a nice angle and that kind of thing so I, I think I rattled off about 30 shots and this is the one that uh, that I settled on um, I didn't envisage it in black and white at all, but uh, it just seemed to work for me when I when I started playing about. The other thing I should say is I now uh, there's been an update to um, Lightroom Mobile on the iPad, and subsequently I now do all my editing unless I need to go into uh, Photoshop or do something in in Lightroom that isn't acceptable. It isn't possible, sorry, on the iPad. I pretty much do everything on the iPad now. So all my tutorials in future are going to be done on the iPad. Now, that's not a problem if you don't have an iPad, if you only work uh, on a Mac or a PC. Everything I do is exactly the same settings. Uh, the beauty of it is now that you can import your RAW files onto the iPad. You can work with your RAW files and they are synced back to your PC or your Mac. Now, the other great thing that they've introduced with this new version is the ability to um, do targeted editing. Um, so that's something that I took advantage of in this image. Uh, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna go through now. But just be aware that although this is done on the iPad interface, because that's how I, not, how I now do it, future videos will some stuff will be done on the desktop or the, my MacBook. Some stuff will be done in Photoshop, but most of it will be done on the iPad. However, you will be able to uh, just copy exactly what I do on your desktop or your Mac. Uh, and just use the same settings. It can all be done. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the end product, but it started off like this. The, here is the raw file that I got off my camera. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna click to change it to black and white. Um, I, I did, it just, I didn't, even though, the, we'll go back to the color, even though the light's gorgeous and, and that, you know, it's, it, it's a nice shot. I just wanted the drama of the rocks and I felt that that was going to be pulled out better with uh, with black and white. So now I'm going to rattle through. Now the first thing I always do when I shoot when I do black and white is I always bring the contrast up, and I bring it up quite high. So we we'll keep bringing that up, and we we'll go about there. Okay, so we brought the contrast up. That's the first thing to do. The next thing is there's an awful lot of white. Uh, up in the top left hand corner so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the highlights down and I'm going to bring those right down and you can see that's bringing out some of the clouds already which is great 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring the whites up a tad to make sure the whites are very white and the blacks are very black. So we'll just bring that up. And I'm going to do a similar thing with the blacks. I'm just going to pull those up to about plus 20. This might change, I might go back and change this. And the final edit I'm going to do in this, in the general editing part, is I'm going to up the clarity. And I do this in all black and white images, and I'm just going to bring the clarity up, and I'm going to pop it about there. So that's done some basic editing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tone Curve. And I love operating this on the, uh, on the iPad because it's just it just feels really intuitive to me so first of all I'm gonna have a play with the highlights and I'm gonna push those up to about there the next thing I'm going to do and it just you can see how this we can see the difference that's making and just gonna go a little bit more than that I think I want to go quite. I want I'm, what I'm looking for is to make it nice and dramatic. I think we'll go there, and then we're just going to have a play. I don't think we need to do. I don't think we need to do a lot there, and we'll just just push those shadows up a little bit. Now that I like. Okay, so we'll that's just made it a little more I think that's brought the drama out of it now the next thing I do is I'm going to go all the way and I've used this if anybody's watched any other videos the dehaze tool is one of my favorite things and we've obviously got a lot of haze in this I'm not looking to particularly remove that haze I'm just it just tends to give us a little bit of clarity by using the dehaze tool so we we'll just bring that up to about there and I'm happy with that now we're almost done with with the editing of the image and I'm I'm almost happy with it. The the last thing I'm going to do by the way I should have said and I've forgotten to to do this I'd already done it is this is cropped. I've cropped the image um so it's not 4 by 3 that you get out of the micro four thirds anymore. Um I will show you the crop which is as you can see that. So I've kept the full width but I've just I've kept the sky, I've just cut out some of the water at the bottom. I forgot to mention that earlier. So um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a vignette as I do on all my images. And we're just going to, just to darken those, we're going to go, again, I'm looking for darkness and drama and the birds flying, you know, flying towards me. So that... I have finished with the basic editing and I think that looks pretty nice compared with what we started off with the color version personally. And I'd be quite happy almost to to just stop at that. But but I love this new targeted ed editing tool. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to do some targeted editing and we got this down the bottom right here we've got this local adjust button. So if we click that, we get options to do local adjustment. Now it's at the moment set to straight, if you like, to almost creating a graduated filter, which is the first thing we're going to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is just pull down a graduated filter. And on this one, I am going to just look at doing the sky. And so what I want to do is darken the sky and just bring the exposure down. To nicely darken that sky. Again, it all adds to the drama and brings out some of the clouds and so on. The next thing I'm going to do is on that sky is just up the contrast. Again, it just, I, just, I know I keep saying it, but it just creates drama. Uh, on, this, on, on this sky, uh, to bring the clouds out, I'm going to just up the clarity because that just gives definition to the clouds. And finally, I'm going to do a little bit more dehazing on this, but not a lot. I just, if you can just see how that is, just bring out the clouds a bit more. So, I, 
I like that very much. That's brought out those nice clouds there. I'm happy with that. Now, what we've also got is you can do a radial selection, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, the first uh, one that I'm going to do is just going to be a nice... Oh, no, we don't want that. Interestingly, this is how you feather the edges, by the way, uh, if anybody's working on an iPad. I'm going to sort of just take this and I'm looking... I'm going to take that off there. I'm just looking to um, just lighten up this top part of the rock here. So I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit. And I'm going to grab the clarity and bring the clarity up. something like that uh, and again I'm going to grab my lovely dehaze tool that I love and I'm just going to do a little bit of dehaze and I'm not going to go too mad but I'm just going to bring that to about there okay the next thing I'm going to do it uh, no, actually no before I do that I think what I'm going to do is just make this cover the whole of those rocks okay so the next thing I'm going to do is they, there are some rocks which you won't see. If I just click plus up in the top left and then I click on the, uh, on the screen, this point here, there are these rocks that are very dark. Okay, so I'm just going to move that and just... Yeah, just want to bring that a bit smaller. And then bring it back down over these rocks. Now, these rocks here, I just want to lighten them up a bit. So, I'm just literally on this one going to bring up the exposure. Just to bring these rocks out. Can you see how that brings out those rocks? And that's it. As far as I'm concerned, I might just move that around a bit. So, it's just on there. That's absolutely fine. Next, I want to do exactly the same thing. Oops. I want to do I want to do so I'm going to add a new one and I want to do exactly the same thing on these rocks here and this time I'll just bring yet again I've grabbed the wrong thing it keeps going to the back to the same one uh, so again I'll just bring the exposure up to about there I don't want to do anything more there because I've covered the clarity. I've brought out the clarity in the rocks with the first radial uh, selection that I did. So I'm happy that just brings the light out on the rocks. Now next, what I want to do is, and if I just place the adjustment, up here, there's some light coming from behind this rock. And what I want to do is really make it look like this is... A point of light that's coming out and the birds are flying out from it so again all I'm going to do with this is just up the exposure and so it looks like a point of light coming out now that's a bit harsh so we're just going to bring down up or bring up our feathering then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and that gives us this point of light here that these birds are flying out of just move that around a bit and then with that point of light, that would tend to put uh, a um, uh, some light onto the water down in front of it. So the last, the very last thing I'm going to do is I am going to add another point, and I'm going to add that down here, and I'm just going to just move this around. And if if anybody wants to know, basically. It's fairly obvious how you control these. This one here controls the feathering. The only one that's a bit confusing is to, and lost me at first, is you just grab anywhere um, on the line to turn it, you know, to rotate it. So I'm just going to put this here. 
And again, I'm simply going to just um, up the exposure a little bit. And there we are, and that puts some, I'll bring that just down a bit, and that brings some light out here onto the, onto, and if I just take that off, that just brings some light out onto the water. And that's it. There's the finished image. Um, I hope you agree that it's, uh, you know, I've added a lot to it with those simple things, but Lightroom Mobile on the iPad is now absolutely superb. I did this you know i've been talking through it but when i first did it i did it in about 10 minutes I, I literally it was took longer to shoot it even though it was a quick shot that i just ran down to the harbor to do it took longer to shoot it than it did to edit it and that's quite unusual um so great uh, if you enjoyed this video as usual please subscribe to see more there there are more coming uh, i've been doing quite a lot of shooting lately so uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.